Phalaenopsis is a really beautiful plant, which has the simplest care conditions of all orchids. With a controlled culture, they blossom at any time of the year. In favorable care conditions, Phalaenopsis blossoms two or even three times a year, and this is pretty impressive. However, despite this, it is important to know some features of care for this plant, because most problems with the orchid arise due to improper irrigation. That's what we will talk about in this video. The frequency of watering with a slight drying of the substrate between waterings. In the absence of direct sunlight, even small plants can do without irrigation for two weeks. Wet substrate with low temperature and low illumination contributes to the development of diseases. Phalaenopsis roots are quite resistant to excessive moisture and grow well even in water, but only in conditions of high temperature and low humidity of the air with good lighting. When the air temperature is lowered to stimulate flowering, it is necessary to reduce the watering frequency of the plant. Watering is also reduced in the period of relative dormancy – June, July – as well as when the temperature is lowered – in winter. Orchids cannot be watered at night. The lethargy of the lower leaves can be considered an indirect sign of a lack of a moisture. Longitudinal veins become visible on them. The plant is watered with settled warm water with a temperature of 22 or 24 degrees Celsius. The water temperature should be 2 or 3 degrees above the air temperature, where the plant grows. Water should not fall on the leaves, otherwise the rot will come to a plant. Once a week it is useful to wash the plant with warm water. Overwatering Phalaenopsis is the main cause of orchid's death. Therefore, if you doubt to water the plant or not, do not water it. Phalaenopsis requires abundant watering, but not just a couple of sips. The roots of the plant are covered with a spongy membrane. In nature and in indoor culture, they absorb water and other nutrients from the environment through the shell. Orchids require much more air around the roots than any other plant. Pay attention to the shell of the roots. It should have a spongy structure of silver or grey color. The tip of the root should be silvery green. After watering process, the root shell becomes green. This discoloration indicates a good watering quality. After the shell changes its color from green to grey, pause for two days and then pour the plant again. The shell acquires a brown color, the roots become soft and lose the ability to absorb moisture just in case of excessive watering combined with poor lighting and low temperature. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the like button below, cause this is the best motivation for us. See you in the next video. Good luck!